Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for clicking on today's video and Happy New Year to each and every one of my viewers and subscribers. Today's video is going to be another foundation review video because I know you guys love these kind of videos from me. So today we're going to be reviewing the new L'Oreal 24 hour foundation uh, infallible total cover. I tested this foundation out for the past three days. I wore it three different ways and three different times. Also, I wore it for quite a few hours. It did say 24 hour wear, which we're gonna get to in a minute. Um, yeah, if you guys didn't know, L'Oreal has an infallible line where the first um, foundation they had was the Pro Matte. Then the second one, which is called the Pro Glow line, which you guys know, I love this one. I love this one. I love this one. Should I say more? I love this foundation so much. Um, I'm in the shade 210 in uh, this uh, in this line, which is a Pro Glow. And then now we have the Total Cover, which looks like this. Everyone was saying to get the same exact name shade in the new foundation, which is what I did. And I got 310. Now, if you didn't know, since this is a like a line with L'Oreal, the infallible line, the first one, which is the Pro Matte, is it's their numbers start with one and then the number, and then the Pro Glow it starts with two and then the number. So now the new one is three and then the number. So initially, anyone will think, okay, this is just like the third series in this line, which is the infallible line. So in the second series, which is the Pro Glow, I have 210, so I got 210. And then in the third one, I decided to get 10 also, so I got 310. This does not look the same at all. L'Oreal, what's up with this? What's up with this color range here? I'm so disappointed, so disappointed. This is not my color. This is not my color at all. I was hoping it looked like this when I got it, but it didn't, and I'm so disappointed. Not only in the color range, is that they need to fix that shit real quick. This is actually painted onto the bottle, whereas in the Pro Glow, you're seeing right through the bottle, so you get you see the actual color. But there is a small window right above the cap here that you can see the actual color, but there's not much of a difference from the painted on version of it. Um, I tried scraping it off, but it wasn't coming off. It's not plastic. It's literally painted on there. Uh, but still, the color is definitely off. This one is, like I said, it's 310 Classic Tan. And I'm in 210 Classic Tan in the Pro Glow, which I love very much. So let me just throw you guys into this clip real quick so you can see how I am applying the foundation. So in this clip here, you can see me applying the foundation and I'm showing here that the foundation is way, way darker than I am. I know in camera and even in Snapchat when I showed you guys, it looked like it wasn't darker than than I, I was or I am. Um, but it is in person, you can see the big difference. It is very dark. The consistency of this foundation is like a mousse-like consistency. Very, It's not like thin or watery or anything like that, which is what I like in a foundation to be. But this one is more like moussey and it's very thick. However, it doesn't feel as thick on the face. It does feel a little heavy, but not crazy heavy. But the foundation is very thick and moussey. Um, full coverage, I don't think it's that full of a coverage because I still am seeing some dark spots when I apply my foundation. Um, it claims to be a natural finish, which also I don't find to be a natural finish. I find it to be more of a leaning more towards a matte side of finish, like a matte finish. That's what I find to be, not a natural finish. Also, they say the texture is air and lighty, which it is sort of true. The coverage, they claim to be full, which I don't, I don't think it is. And then they claim it to wear up to 24 hours, which I don't believe so. Now, I will let you guys continue watching me apply this foundation, and then we will get back into talking about the foundation.
I wore for like for the first two hours I would say I wore it um, I noticed the foundation started breaking up around my nose area and my, around my smile line and especially around my mouth which I never actually get that in a foundation I never got a foundation breaking up around my mouth which I find very weird don't know how that happened but yeah this foundation settled in the corner of my nose which you guys know I totally hate I hate when foundation settle in the corner of my nose I just hate it it just looks gross and then it settles and if you take it up too much under the eyes it will settle in all those fine lines and you will look like you aged a bit wearing this foundation now it does look nice on the skin but after a couple minutes of wearing it you will literally see the foundation breaking up on the face settling in your lines in the corner of your nose if you have an issue that is happening to me by the way i am normal skin i am not oily not combination i'm just right there at normal um i don't like this foundation at all at all at all i'm so disappointed in the foundation given the fact that i'm in love with the pro glow i thought that this would have this would have been another goodbye but no 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 l'oreal what are you doing what are you doing first of all you messed up the color range then you give us a shitty ass foundation that settles and cracks and creases and breaks and do all the works that we don't want the foundation to do so basically all I'm gonna say this is not a 24 hour wear foundation and by the way if anyone is probably gonna try to come in the comments and tell me that I should have tried it this way or that way I tried it all different ways I tried it one day without any primer I tried it with the second day I tried it with the hourglass primer and then third day I tried it with my normal um, makeup forever step one primer which is the smoothing primer and I in all three days of me wearing them differently I got the same results in the end so yes in my opinion do I think you guys should run out there and get this foundation is it worth the hype no it's not worth the hype I do not suggest anyone to go out there and get this foundation it's total rubbish that's what I'm pretty much saying it's total rubbish if you don't like what I'm saying then you can go ahead and click on this video thumbs it down do whatever you want to do but I'm just gonna keep it real like I always do in my foundation reviews video for you guys I did start this is the second time I'm doing it this way where I wear it for a couple of days and then come back and report to you because it was requested from a few subscribers that I do it this way instead of doing it like a first impression where all day kind of wear so this is the way I'm gonna do it from now on and I actually think it's better because this way I can test it out for a good couple of days and I come back and report to you guys downfall is which I know on my part I should have taken pictures I should have shown a little bit more like footage from each day but I didn't I'm sorry next time I will do that but just take my word for it this is not a good foundation the hype the whole the, the the big hey it's a great foundation from L'Oreal bullshit is going around it's all bullshit this is all bullshit it's all bullshit so Hope you guys enjoyed this video as always if you did give it a big thumbs up leave your comments and feedback down below as usual and if you're not already hit that subscribe button on your way out before you go also if you're just browsing just to let you guys know I will be having a, a giveaway coming up within the next week or so I'm just waiting on everything to come into the mail and then I will come on here and do a special video dedicated to the giveaway to show you guys the stuff that I got the stuff that I'm giving away and the rules. Also, if you're not following me on Snapchat, I suggest you do that. If you're not following me on Snapchat, I suggest you go on over there and follow me because I usually say things over there that I don't say on YouTube. Or you or my Snapchat family is always the first to know everything that goes down. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and until my next one, I will catch you guys later. Bye, guys.